We've all had some time to just digest everything and decompress. Tell me, what was your biggest takeaway from the papal journey? My biggest takeaway is that you cannot put this man in a box. Yeah. Uh, after his address to Congress, uh, the conservatives were kind of on the social media saying, oh, you know, he didn't come out and condemn abortion outright. And then in the same breath, Planned Parenthood condemned him for being too forthright in condemning abortion. I'm mm -hmm. like, you cannot put <laughs> Pope Francis in a box. And, and really, um, that's, that's what happens, I think, when you authentically try to represent the message. It's like, you know, you're, you're shooting right down the middle and you're never gonna please everybody. Uh, but you do need to please one person, and that's Jesus Christ. Right. And, and I think that's something that we, we really learned. And he wasn't here really to appease anyone. He was really here just to spread a message and, and hope that we take that plant, the seed, and move forward. Were there anything about what the Holy Father had to say during his time here that was like a surprise to you, that you kind of like stood straight up and said, huh, didn't see that coming? Um, I think when he described the arms trade as blood, a bloody commerce. Mm -hmm. It it was very, very vivid language. And you know, everything else that he was saying is like, we have to help the poor, we have to do this, let, let, let's reach out, take care of the young people, take care of the elderly, we have to be a family. But then when he said that, you're mm -hmm. like, Whoo! <laughs> Whoa, but he's no stranger to, to strong rhetoric, you know, dung of the devil is probably one that just pops into my mind like really quickly. So he, he, he can really kind of shoot right for the mid chest, yes. center mass and, and, and very fearlessly. And wh what a beautiful thing that, that, that he can, that it's not necessarily, I think sometimes we, we, we put everything in these political categories mm -hmm. that we're used to. You know, when we see a public figure, yes, he is a political figure because he's a head of state, uh, but but it's, it's all these other things that we're not used to. Mm -hmm. We're not used to a politician speaking like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he is, but we, we feel his angle. But with, with the Pope, it was like, just, just like, uh, you know, just, just uh, everything all at once. And personally, I, I really do think that his message at Independence Hall was a, a needed uh, injection of mercy mm -hmm. and humanity in everything that's happening right now in, in our country with with the uh, presidential election coming up next year um, it was it was a, a welcomed relief mm -hmm. um, in, in terms of everything about the immigration do you think the tone of his speeches reflect what he has been saying all along that that clerics that priests that bishops need to make these homilies simple so that we can absorb them and so that we can understand them better I think so. I think, honestly, I think he learned it when he would walk around in the streets. You know, you can't bring your fancy theology to, to, to Joe Schmo, who's on the street. You have to bring it in a way that they understand. And that's what, what he did. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to any pontiff that who, has, who has graced us with, with their presence sure. in the Just past. Just a different style. Uh, and, yeah. and, uh, and much needed. Just a different style. His particular attention to religious and special attention to nuns. Why is this so important? Um, in my opinion, uh, when you talk to the nuns first, you're talking to your base. You know, if it wasn't for our nuns' prayers, mm -hmm. uh, where would we be? You know, so he's, he's building up that. He's, he's giving them a special place uh, because we need their intercession. Because this battle, it's spiritual first, mm. and he knows it. How do we apply his message, Father Augustino, in, in, in the minute we have left, lessons about service to the poor, lessons about environment, marriage, and the family to our daily lives? The person that's right in front of you, you're present to that person. You, you're present to that person's need. We're all about our own needs, and we need to become a little bit more aware of what's going on with our brothers and sisters. A small market, not Walmart, okay. a small market. In 30 seconds, your expectations for the Synod of Bishops. The Synod of Bishops, I think it's going to be a wonderful family discussion. All right. And that's what we need, marriage and the family. And that was the theme of the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia. And he will take that into the Synod of Bishops. We're going to have to have you back because I think a lot is going to come from that as well.